private enough for me to do my ritual. But there are a lovely old couple walking through the woods who are collecting rubbish. Because unfortunately, as beautiful as this place is, people still feel the need to drop their litter, which drives me mad. Hey, beautiful crows. I was thinking <laughs> of going over onto that mound. I don't know if I can make it there. It's rather waterlogged. We've had a lot of rain. I should be able to if I can go over there. I'm not going to film it though because I'll probably fall on my backside. beautiful roots. So beautiful. The forest is coming alive. The birds are getting ready for spring. It's a beautiful place to be right now. I think this will do nicely. Just maybe in this little hollow here. That would be perfect. So, under the presence of this great oak tree. <laughs> Excuse me. Under the presence of this great oak tree. There goes the candle. I've lit candles often to the Lord of the Forest. And I have left him some thing in the ground too. It was um, quite special as I did the ritual. I um, as I gave the offering, this really strange breeze just ripped around. Uh, it felt, it's very still today, it's very still, um, and this breeze just kind of flew straight past, it was beautiful. I'm going to sit here for a minute longer, and then I'm going to make my way back through the woods, maybe on a different route. I might go and explore up there actually, I don't think I've ever been up there. Let's go explore up there. in a minute. A Jew's ears fungi. Apparently they're edible. I wouldn't like to risk it. Edible but don't taste very nice. They're beautiful there. On these little holes. I'm not quite sure who would live in there. Or maybe someone squirrel from digging for his hidden acorns. I don't know. There's some jelly stuff. I don't know what that is either. I just had a thought. I wonder if there's any frogs in the water. I think we'll go and have a look on the way back. But we're going up there. Focus. We're going up there. There's a couple of steps at the bottom on the bit that's not steep. Well, there was. Past tense. Now, is this a good idea? I don't think it is. I'm going to take this path instead. Let's see where this goes.
sound is so squishy. I hope you can hear all the beautiful birds today. They're certainly having a good sing. Ah, oh, I know where we are. Let's see if I can show you. Hello, Mrs. Squirrel. See him? I know there's a lot of um, controversy over grey squirrels, but I still think they're beautiful. Sorry, went too fast. Probably made you feel sick. Right, I'm going to try and get down. Um, this is the golf course. Um, whoo, there we go. It has some beautiful oak trees on it. But the oak tree that um, I thought we were near is way down the other end. Okay, I'm going to turn you off while I do this because I might need my hands. See you in a bit. Loads of little ponds in this woods that I've never seen before. Never. And there's also, because of the golf course over there, there's also loads of um, golf balls everywhere. I should probably take them for my brother as he's rather a pro. I wanted to see if we can find any frog spawn. But to be honest, this stinks. I don't think any frog would want to live in here. Ew. Maybe not. Let's go try and find the big pond. This makes me so cross. Take your rubbish home, people. It's not hard. You carried it here with you. You can carry it back. Girl. Again, I can't see any frog spawn. But we have had really, really cold temperatures. I mean, here I think it got down to minus 13 last week. So it doesn't surprise me, to be honest. They're probably still hiding, and I don't blame them. Apparently we're going down to um, in the minuses again this weekend. And next week... It's Friday today. Next week is Ostara, so it's spring equinox. And we're still getting minus temperatures regularly. And I know, we, I mean, in this part of the UK, our last frost date isn't until, say, late April. But it still seems very cold for this time of year. That looks slippy. Um. Ooh. I made it, just... I'm going to have to edit this video down. I don't know how much you want to see of me just walking around in the woods. Squish, squish, squish. Squish, squish, squish. Oh, where to go next? See, that goes back out. And that goes where I came. And the fence boundary runs up there. So um, let's go look at the dens actually. Let's go around this way. No, 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 let's go this way. They're saying it's cold. That sun, when it does hit you, is quite warm. See, this is the, um, the dog walking area. So if I'm going to run into anyone, it's going to be around here. And I'll be that weird green haired lady talking to herself. <laughs> and I'll show you my favourite oak tree. I love this tree. Oh, there's two. Hey, there's another squirrel. Hey, squirrel. There's this beauty. Lovely with all these little holes in for all the animals to live in. Beautiful. And then there's this one. The gnarly twisted oak. I 
I love him. This part is a nature reserve. So the local wildlife trust um, does like forest school things. I think we like the scouts and beavers over here. And they're in the process of building a rather good den. I'm liking this. It's cool, isn't it? It's got half its roof on little seats. They have different ones every year so um, obviously different groups build different things. And this part's obviously much more maintained. You can see they've been chopping back all the holly and then just let some more light in. Which I find if I want to do any foraging, which I'm not actually really doing today, um, bits like this been chopped off. They're perfect. I have to leave them there today though. So I'm going to take a walk up the meadow now and then I think we will go yeah I think we'll go through the um the dugout forest as we call it. Oh there's a big branch of you being cut down there. Now, you is um, mildly toxic. I don't have any reaction to it, so I'm okay by touch. Um, but it should never be ingested. Never any part of it. The only part of it that isn't toxic is the tiny pip or seed inside the red berry. But your chances of getting that out and not having anything else on it, it's not worth doing. So, coming back to the gate. So I'm going to go and I'll show you when we're walking up the meadow. See you in a bit. So this, oh, God, my well is again soaked off. It's that soggy, look at the ground. This is the meadow in summer. This is really, <laughs> can you hear my well? It's, um, this is really long grass and there's wild geraniums and all sorts that grow in here. I love this fallen, fallen tree. So this is where we do a lot of our foraging because this woodland here, which actually dips right down, oh, I'm trying to get out of this squelch a bit, um, has a lot of wild fruit trees, um, especially plum. It's got um, a red plum and a Mary, Mary Bella plum, which is a yellow one. They're absolutely delicious, better than anything you buy in the shop. And there's loads of them. So I'll show you when we get back up there so I can concentrate on walking. <laughs> See you in a minute. Look! The plum is coming into flower. Isn't it beautiful? Just look at it dancing. There's a bit more of a breeze up here. Oh, I wish you could smell it because it smells amazing. There's loads of it. You go around. All of these are wild plum. I just picked myself up another piece of silver birch from um, a little coppice over there. Um, I love those trees and I always go and check if there's a branch on the floor. And um, I love making ones out of silver birch, I really do. So this will no doubt become a never want. Whether that I'll just sit in my workspace, my altar for a little while. There's more coming into box in there. And then all around the edge here as it goes round to the road. There's loads of plums around there too. So we are going down here.
spotted. I'm going to have to check the name when I get home. But I believe it's called Aram. Aranum? Aranum? Lords and Ladies it's called. Um, which has these beautiful spires of red berries in the autumn. And also, over there, there's some wickedly bright red fungi. Can you see it? Look how red that is. I love this little place. You won't believe that we're so close to houses. The houses, I mean, you can just see the roof there. In the um, summer, when this is all in full leaf. Can't see anything. Could be anywhere. And it's across the bridge. all going over now. It's time for the daffodils to start coming through. And um, at the end of this little path our woodland walk is done. So I hope you've enjoyed joining me on this little video um, for my walk um, whilst I went and did a, a little ritual um, which was for the passing of my father, it's his birthday today. So I did a little something for that. Um, so yeah, this was an English woodland in March. Nearly spring. Thanks for watching. Bright blessings. Bye bye.